What's up, you guys? Kirsty Snyder here alongside Daniel Kump. We're ready to rock for the 14th of May, 8 p.m. Eastern, Teachable Tuesday. If you are on the replay from teachabletuesdayreplays.com, please put replay in the comments below and then know that the document we're going to reference tonight, I hope first and foremost, you print it out, you actually reference it, you utilize it, you study it up because it's going to help you in everything we're going to talk about tonight. But make sure to reference that below this video. It's inside the description if you want that document. Congrats on being here. Thank you for taking the time on the replay. We are going to let everyone in now and get rocking. All right, when you guys can see and hear us, please put a two in the chat. And then as always, let us know what city and state or what country you are tuning in from. We'd love to hear from you and shout you out for taking the time tonight to collaborate with us. Now, if you are in this GFU business, if you are part of TFT and you have started within the last 60 days, drop the word 60 in the comments for me. Okay, just in the little Zoom chat here, okay? Let me know who is new. And on top of that, love that you guys are all commenting where you're at. We got what, Utah, Connecticut, Utah. Gosh, we got to do something in Utah there. Um, New York, another Utah. What? New Jersey, Wyoming, Missouri. Okay, keep it coming in. All right. And if you've started in the last 60 days with the funnel team, please drop the number 60 in the comments right now for me. Okay. We got Canada, we got Texas, rock it out, love it, Illinois, Arizona, Maryland, another Utah, Arkansas, love it. Okay, cool. So listen up. For those of you who have started in the last 60 days, I now want you to be bold in the comments. In the next 60 days, how much would you like to make? And just those who have started previously to 60 days, none of you vets out there can answer yet. Okay. How much would you like to make if you could write yourself a check for exactly 60 days from now? So what's that? July 14th. How much would you like to make? Drop me a comment. Let me know. Okay. Kim Bartley to the punch. 5,000. Okay, cool. What I want you to consider is everything that we are discussing tonight on Teachable Tuesday, what you could catch the replay for on Mindset Monday, what we will then look forward to on Focus Friday, and every week for the next 60 days, just as an example, are the exact how-to steps for how you can go get 5,000. Helene, Helene, I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Let me know. I know you've corrected me before, but now I'm slaughtering it. I know it. Sherry, Leslie, tons of you guys are saying five grand. So what is it that you can plug into tonight, Teachable Tuesday, Moving Forward, Focus Friday, Mindset Monday, the app, the training, the hands-on tutorials? Are you willing to actually plug in and do what works in order to go get the 5,000 over the next 60 days? Because that's 2,500 a month. That's 2,500 a month. And if you do the math real fast, how many global sales, you guys, would that be to make 2,500 in a month? Do the math real fast. 400 divided by 2,500. You guys know the math. It's like five, five or six global sales, right? That's one, one a week almost. There are people on our team who are getting more than one global sale a day. So is it possible that you could take them as evidence starting tonight, tonight, right now, that you can go get a global sale? Even if you're brand new, even if you started yesterday, even if you started 50 days ago, could it be possible for you to shift your mindset into taking evidence of that possibility rather than you saying, oh, I can't, I won't, I shouldn't. Which lane do you want to select tonight? I can't, I won't, I shouldn't or evidence. Which one? Let me know. I want to do a quick, um, before we actually get into tonight's training, I want to do like yeah. a couple of quick shout outs here. Sure. Um, the other day, guys, we just, uh, Kirsty posted a really great thread, and we want this to be an ongoing active thread um, inside of our Facebook group uh, where it's, there's a big, you know, uh, red thing. Actually, uh, Kirsty, if you want to share your screen, you want to let me share my screen super, super fast. I'll go over this. Um, yeah, I'll actually, I'll share my screen. And as you're explaining, I'll actually put it as a pinned announcement. Yep. Awesome. So we have it. Um, so we got some. Really, really awesome feedback coming in here. So I want to I want to do two things when it comes to this. This is really going to help us uh, moving forward because we're going to be using some of this content and we're going to be sharing this in your videos. I'm actually going to be making more faceless content for you guys. You know, your grab and go videos that a lot of you guys are using, and some of that you guys are even dropping as 
<clears throat> feedback in this results thread here. Okay. So, you know, here's some awesome stuff that's happened. Um, you know, grown my uh, following over 6,500 uh, followers since March, which is awesome. Did a webinar last week. I got three new uh, signups. Amazing. Awesome. Um, posted two faceless videos uh, that were five seconds. They went viral uh, over 38,000, 16,000 followers, which is awesome. Uh, generated 321 leads in five months from the app. Again, uh, really awesome. I have way over hundred leads in my app. All really great stuff, guys. Generated over 500 leads in the last three days. What? That is super cool here. I love this one uh, from Amanda. Uh, my main Facebook page has grown by 174 followers. Started a brand new page with zero friends and zero followers in less than 30 days. Now have over 1,200 friends and followed by 513 uh, 174 new leads in the app. So some just really, really awesome, awesome stuff there, guys. Um, so love, love seeing that stuff in there. Great job. Keep those coming and just make sure it's like any result that you guys get, whether it's like, uh, you know, your first sale, you generated your first lead, you've generated, you know, whatever it is, it's right there in the description. Uh, check that stuff out because again, we're going to be taking screenshots of those using those in videos and content for you guys that you guys could literally turn around and take and go use, which is awesome. What we can't have, okay, and this is the housekeeping part of this part, is we can't have, I shared a couple of videos and I'm not making any sales. When You know, I posted 10 videos and I don't have any sales yet. What's wrong? Someone help me. That's not what that post is for. And I want, I want you to just kind of little DK tough love here, okay? When you go out into a public forum and you kind of shout out to the world that things aren't going well, then things aren't going well. That attitude that, you know, that's going to come across in your videos. That's going to come across in your content. So if that's your, if that's your posture, if that's how you want to posture up that, Hey guys, I'm not making sales. Why would, why would someone want to join you? If you're going to shout out to the world that you're not making sales. Be go be the person, guys. Be the person that you want to bring into your business. Don't go into a positive thread, an uplifting positive thread, and try to pull people down. Even though you might not realize you're doing it, that's what you're doing. So mm -hmm. keep that positive, keep it results driven. Uh, if you have questions about your business, there's a QA thread uh in pinned announcement post in the top of our Facebook group. You guys can always use that to ask questions. Make sure we keep that. Uh, thread extremely positive results driven so we can use that and create awesome content that you guys get to use hope that makes yep. sense yep it does and on top of that just a key a key point that daniel said a couple times the reason we have the results thread is so we can take screenshots and create content for you maximizing your time so that you could have non-speaking and faceless videos of evidence Hey, it's not just me who's doing this business. Look, bon, bon, bon. and here's a bunch of screenshots for other people to see. Hey, I want to enroll with Karen. She's helping these many people. They're getting results. I want results too. Oh my gosh, I've got to get with Leslie because look at her video. It's not just her who started this business. There's multiple people doing it. Wow, that's incredible. But we're wanting to create the content for you, faceless and non-speaking, so that you can just plug and play. You can just have something to grab and go, and then it's relatable for other people when you have leads. Does that make sense? Drop the word leads if you get what I'm, what I'm saying, okay? On top of that, tonight we are going to be sharing screen here in just a second to show you guys a little bit of what to expect inside of TFT. We're bringing it back to the basics. And the reason we're bringing it back to the basics is because as we evolve, always, as we are evolving, there's more innovation happening. What's happened over the last couple of weeks, we've been doing more and more webinars. Why? Because that is creating the most impact, right? And if we want to lead with impact, we want to be above influence. We want to do something that's a larger that's more insightful, that's more helpful for everyone who's serious, then we are doing webinars. And that involvement is what we want you along for the ride on, okay? So we're going to be going back to the basics. I'll give you a comparison. Last May, we did a May Blitz. All through May, it was this and this and this and all of our content. If you catch replays from last May, long time ago, okay, a year ago, totally different for what we're doing now. And the reason it's different is because there's the constant 
desire and need for growth and shaping up to more for yourself, which means we, as the admins of TFT, are here to continue pushing out that innovation and wanting you along for the ride. If you're good with being along for the ride, just drop the word ride for me, okay? Now, in sharing my screen, I'm going to bring it back to the basics. We are going to be doing the process of what to expect and how it works when you're inside. Okay. Some of you guys who started recently over the last week, over the last month, this is going to be a basic, basic overview for what to expect and why things matter and why they're important. Okay. If you have questions, we will take questions at the end of this section. So be sure to write them down and I will answer them. Okay. Just write them down and we'll take questions here in just a few minutes. Okay. So the process, you, Billy Bob lead, you see a video from David. You then get involved because you hit David's funnel. You get involved based on your purchase of the digital membership, whether that was starter, that was go, gain, grow, or global. You got involved because you saw a video from David, right? Good job, David Reynolds. Ha ha. You like that? And on top of that, when David then messages you, texts you and emails you, hey, get involved, click this, go here. This is the breakdown of what that means, okay? David, just as the example, is giving you a business in a box. You have the GFU membership. You enrolled at Starter up to, up to Global. You have a business in a box now. You have access to the funnel team. What is the funnel team? If you guys were to describe it, what is the funnel team? Drop it in the chat. Want to know what you guys think the funnel team is? I mean, it's kind of a cheat because it's right here, but I want to know your definition. The funnel team training system that David just gave Billy Bob is the hands-on tutorials for how to run his GFU business, right? So Billy Bob can be off to the races and making money. Billy Bob's only focus, only concern, only discipline that he now gets to take is promoting and marketing his affiliate link for the digital membership. That's it. You just got to promote your link. So those who have started over the last few weeks or the last couple months, your only focus is to promote your link. The TFT training system, this bad boy here that you got access to from your sponsor, let's say David, all of this shows you exactly how to promote your link to get sales within this digital membership. Does that make sense so far? Okay. Three important pieces and focuses in your funnel team training system. And I'm going to share this only because you guys have access to it already. That's why you're here. You've never seen this before. That's probably the problem. <laughs> ah, that could be the problem. Eliminate confusion by tapping into the funnel team training system. You're using this system here in order to go sell the digital membership. That same thing that you opted into because what? It's a business in a box. Does that make sense? Let me know. Three focuses I want you to 100% hone in on for your TFT system. The fast start guide when you set up your domain. Why is the domain necessary? The domain that you purchased from GoDaddy, when you're involved with that piece, domain, work with David R.com. Whatever your domain that you chose from GoDaddy, that is then attached to a funnel that has a video sales letter, that has your affiliate link. Some of you guys got involved, for example, if I'm your sponsor, you got involved based on a webinar or a YouTube video, right? Same idea. But instead of you having to be like the guru of YouTube as a beginner, you instead have a funnel that Billy Bob can hit. And then Billy Bob, when he purchases a digital membership, you get paid as his affiliate, as his sponsor. Does that make sense? But it's the same process, whether you landed on a YouTube channel or now you're using a funnel. Let's say your sponsor is Catherine and you saw a funnel, you got involved global last Saturday and you did that because of what the funnel team training sets up for you. Does that make sense? Just drop your favorite emoji if that makes sense so far for you guys, okay? That's the first focus of this funnel team training system. You got to put your domain together with the funnel team training funnel that's already built and done for you, that's customized with your affiliate link, all the goodies. You don't have to worry about any of that technical side. The only hands-on piece that's technical in any type of way 
is the forwarding your domain. If ever you walk through that video and you have a question, use the Q&A thread from the Facebook group. There will always be someone there to answer a question for you. Always, 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 always. And no, Taryn, it doesn't have to be a GoDaddy domain. That's just the tutorial that we have. Awesome question. But you could use something like Namecheap. You could use whatever else. We just don't have a tutorial on that, but it works the same. You'd forward it under the DNS section and manage it, put it to the right place with your affiliate link at the end. Now I get questions a lot about the affiliate link. So let me just log in to Gfu real fast. While you're doing that, Kirst, let me let me yeah, just chime ahead. in on the um sure. on the forwarding domain, guys. The reason why we use GoDaddy is just because it's it's more user friendly than anything yeah. else that we've seen out there. And I know like sometimes people try to go find a good deal, like names cheap. You might be able to get the same domain for like a dollar less or $2 less or whatever. And, you know, I can't tell you how many countless times over the years people have reached out to us and said, Hey, you know, I'm trying to follow the video and I can't because names cheap is different and I can't figure this out. Help me. And then it's like, we can't help you because we don't use names cheap. So, you know, just keep that in mind. You know, we, we put it out there because it works. It's simple. Um, you know, also GoDaddy has really good support too, where some of these other yes. kind of lower level domain hostings don't. So just keep that in mind. Yep, for sure. And you can always get resourceful in the sense of looking it up on YouTube. If you use something example, like name cheat for your domain, that's fine. It works the same. It's the same type of process as far as DNS, as far as manage and hooking it to the right place. But there's no tutorial on it from TFT. So if you want a tutorial, I can guarantee there's going to be a YouTube video out there for another domain hosting place. Okay. So just manage yourself and be resourceful if you choose something else that's not in TFT. Now, a question I get about your domain, you're just going to take the TFT funnel link, which is right here. Okay. This is the desktop version. So it's going to look different from your app if you want notifications right here. You're going to snag this bad boy and you're at the end of the AID equal sign going to put your affiliate ID. The affiliate ID you're searching for is right here. Can you guys see this? Let me know. My mouse is in the center. It says kirstysnyder.gfu.com. You're only going to take the Kirsty Snyder part. Obviously not mine, yours. Whatever yours says. If it's David Reynolds, if it's Marcelino R, whatever it is. If it's Jinkle224, I don't know what it is. But whatever your username you chose, it's just this piece here, not the dot .gfu.com, just that piece. And you're going to put that piece at the end of this right here, the end of the AID equal sign. And then you're going to hit save. And then ta-da, your work with David R.com is ready to go. Now, some of you guys have questions about, hey, it says 48 hours. Yes, it does. And, <laughs> and it's never taken 48 hours. It's almost instant that your GoDaddy purchase, workwithdavid.com, whatever you selected, goes to the exact funnel with your affiliate ID, you getting the commission instantly. I'm talking like 60 seconds, maybe five minutes at the absolute craziest, but it's not going to take long. You just got to pay attention to what's in front of you. Does that make sense? Now, someone, I think Taryn asked, can you switch the name that you purchased on GoDaddy? Unfortunately not. You just have to purchase a new domain, but it's only 12 bucks and that's annual. So if you purchase one that you don't love, that's maybe not easily spelled or easily remembered, say you did kirstysnyder.com, there's a reason I don't use my name <laughs> because no one can spell it. So be sure to use a domain that's easily readable, easily remembered, and easily written. Does that make sense? Let me know. Now going back right here, okay? That's the first piece I want you to focus on within your funnel team training. You need the domain to attach to the funnel. That way, all the technical side beyond that is handled for you instantly. Customized to you with your affiliate link. No stress, no worries. From there, you have a domain now. Workwithdavid.com. Well, what the heck do I do with my domain? First, you can go to your own link, walk it through, make sure it goes to your stuff. Hit the button underneath as if you're going to enroll. Make sure it says your name at the top so you get the commission. And then yes, unsubscribe from the emails because you obviously don't need them <laughs> if you're involved. But you can walk it through just to make sure that it's hooked correctly. You can also ask your sponsor to do the same if you want to. They will be there to help you as well. But be resourceful first yourself. Don't just go to your sponsor and say, can you check it? Well, did you check it? Did you get resourceful? Okay. 
Now you have a domain, you have workwithdavid.com. You need people and eyeballs to see that domain, to want to go to that location so that you can what? Get a sale. That's the end result you're after. That's the business side of this. Yes. So the next piece is short form videos. The short form video section is all right here. Taking action, taking action, taking action. And then there's a deep dive into short form video under here. Right here is where the rubber meets the road. This is where you're taking action, posting your first three videos amongst your three platforms. This is where you're actually doing something to promote your link. And then when you're ready to be more in depth about how to effectively post, what videos to do, things like that, you'll hop to the short form video formula. First, where we have exact formula for what type of videos you want to post, what you want to include, if it's face, if, it, if it's speaking, whatever it is, this goes into depth about that. I promise you, this is the best money maker for you. It 100% is. Some people argue with me and say, no, it's got to be your YouTube channel, Karist. True, but no one would ever hit my YouTube channel unless they saw short form video first, which means when you can master short form video, you will master anything beyond that. Make sense? Is that fair? Drop the word fair if you're good with that, okay? Right here under Fast Start Guide Part 2, that is the second focus. It's short form video. Short form video is the gateway. It's the preface. It's the, the first chapter of the book. You don't know what happens in the movie till you see the trailer. The trailer is the short form video. And if you want people showing up to your movie, you want them buying popcorn, you need to enhance and magnify your short form video, your trailer, okay? Additional trainings right here under this red button, videos to clone. Oh my gosh, we have everything locked and loaded for you. It's just a matter of you clicking some buttons. Can you click buttons? Drop the word yes, okay? And then this last piece here, DM formula. What is the DM formula? Why is that, that, why is that the third piece that's so important inside of TFT? Who cares? Who cares? DM formula, what is that? What is it, guys? It's what closes the sales. Exactly, Celeste. It's what closes the sales. Now, if you've done these things correctly above, the DM formula will be a breeze. I want it to be so simple for you. You're not going back and forth with people. The first message they say is, hey, David, I'm ready. Send me your link. I want that to be what you are stepping into. And the way that that happens where the DM formula isn't as you playing customer service you being effective in communication, asking for the sale, all the good things, yes, but getting to the sale and the close faster happens because of you mastering the first two. The DM formula is just extra sauce on top of that for you to be able to close the sale and be efficient in finding high quality people. Is that fair? Let me know. The DM formula, DM means direct message. When you can direct message effectively, whether that's text, email, call, whatever, when you can communicate effectively, which is taught inside of the DM formula trainings, okay, it's right here. DM formula right here, okay. You have leads because of taking action. You have short form video content, people hitting your funnel, you getting leads in real time. The DM formula then tells you exactly how to master the communication to close the sale to get a commission. You feel me? So those three things, that's your focus. Drop the word three if you're good with that. Now in this orientation, we have the Funnel Team Facebook group. The Funnel Team Facebook group is an extension of the hands-on tutorials that you get inside of TFT. TFT training system, these here, the black and red section, all of these goodies here are the hands-on tutorials. If you never tapped into a training with us live, you'd have everything you need here. However, we don't want you skipping and, and throwing up the surface of just, oh, I make a sale a day. No, we want you at like three, four, 10 sales a day. And the way to scale that up is to be involved with the Funnel Team Facebook group. The Funnel Team Facebook group, as you guys probably know, but if you started yesterday or last week or a month ago, maybe you haven't collected this yet, which is why I'm encompassing it now for you, okay? The Funnel Team Facebook group is for extra support and training. Monday at noon Eastern. Oops, I did my time. <laughs> Noon Eastern, I mean, you know, 10, 10 a.m. 
mountain time. That's not inaccurate. Noon Eastern on Mondays, 8 p.m. Eastern Tuesdays, and every single Friday, noon Eastern. Now, the reason that's significant is because the majority of you guys maybe have a full-time job. That's perfectly fine. Guess what? You can't attend at noon. Go catch the replay. Go catch the replay so diligently as if your boss said, hey, we have a meeting at two. If you were to schedule in the proximity that you need in order to be wealthy within this, if you were to take it more seriously, you'd be get paid, you'd be getting paid more seriously. Does that make sense? Is that fair? Let me know. Um, Joanna says, do we have to create a specific, oh shoot, where'd your comment go? Do we have to create, oh gosh, where'd it go? Do we have to create a, a separate account on Instagram, Facebook, et cetera? Totally up to you, Joanna. Um, Daniel in his video shows you how to create a, an account from scratch, but that's up to you. If you want to use what you currently have for those entities, you certainly can. If you want to start fresh, you certainly can. That's up to you. So the Facebook group is for additional training and support. Two of them each week are inside the Facebook group and one is on Zoom, much like you're on right now. Teachable Tuesday. Does that make sense? Let me know. I, uh, now, go ahead. I thought you said just no. As soon as I said, can I? Uh... Oh, <laughs> no, <you> can't. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> let me uh, let me just add my, you know, two cents on do, should I create, you know, new accounts for to share my business? Because obviously, like, most of our training guys is, is sharing sharing your link on social media, right? So uh, we get asked this question a lot. Should I create a new Facebook account? Should I create a new uh, Instagram, whatever? You certainly can. My personal recommendation is use what you got. And the reason I say that is it all boils down to confidence. Yeah. Confidence in yourself and belief in yourself. Because if you're of the type where you don't want to start sharing your link, you don't want to start posting content, you know, and you have friends and family on there and you might feel weird about what they might think or like, oh, what are they doing? That's weird. What are they, what is this all about? Like, if you're too concerned about what other people might think, you're going to put restrictions on yourself and you're going to limit the action that you really should be taking or you could be taking if you're too worried about what other people are going to think where you think, just think about this. And I know everyone, you know, has a different approach here. Everyone has their own way of doing it. And that's totally cool. But just think about the fact that like, if you rip the bandaid off and you just go for it, people are going to support you, you know, and the people that have an opinion of you, or you're worried about them having an opinion of you, trust me, they already have an opinion of you. So just think about the direction that you want to go. If you're considering creating a new account, think about just, just going for it, you know, just, just going for it. And, you know, the people that are going to support you are going to support you. The people that aren't, aren't, but if you go through and you follow our training, you stay consistent, you're going to get followers. Trust me. Like we have more than enough, you know, documentation of people uh, getting followers. So just something to consider there. Um, yeah. Something to consider. Agreed. Agreed. And on top of that, as I refresh, because Daniel just works the magic. Ha ha ha. Um, on top of that, other people's opinions don't pay your bills, right? And whatever someone thinks of you currently is what they already think of you. It doesn't matter if you go move to Mexico or if you go and quit your job or if you go paint your eyebrows pink. People will already be judging you. So it doesn't really matter if you go put out content on your current account or not. It's just about your confidence in doing so instead of remaining as you are because other people's opinions do not pay your bills. Okay. And now, we're going to, sorry, I got, I got to, go I got to share. Oh, yeah, go it ahead. only came from the video that you shared with me the other day, Les Brown. You ready for this? Oh dude, I love um, Les. This is awesome. Everybody write this down. You can comment it if you want, but talking about, you know, getting out there on social and doing your thing and, becoming that person and and attracting those people, right? We we don't take certain actions because of fear, right? Everybody write this down. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Awesome. Fear, <laughs> false evidence appearing real. So what's going on in your head 
most likely isn't really what's going on out there. It's just what's in your head. Exactly. So just think about that. Just go take the action and trust me, you're going to feel so much better for going out and doing that than worrying about what could happen. Start thinking about what could happen, what could go right versus what could go wrong. Yep. Yeah, because you don't have proof of either. So it makes more sense to go the route that makes you feel good than it does to go the route that makes you feel like crap because you do not have evidence. You don't have evidence of it going poorly unless you lean into that too long. And then that creates your reality. Okay. Does that make sense? You guys resonating with that? Okay. So going back right here, going back right here, the use of the Facebook group. You can catch the replays inside for the two that we do inside the Facebook group. Obviously, Zoom is not inside the Facebook group because it's the how-to steps. It's more exclusive for the production, the action takers, where Mindset Monday and Focus Friday are those things, but it's more encompassed around the mindset and the attitude that you hold, not necessarily the how-to steps, the technical, the, the learning piece, but the embodiment piece, okay? Okay. You can pay attention to the pinned announcements there at the top, at the top of the Facebook group, okay? The top of the Facebook group, you have pinned announcements right here. See these? This, when you get involved, I would hope that all of you guys, no matter when you got involved, watch this welcome video. And then you can use this little doodad here and look at any of the current things, challenges, the content pieces, whatever that we have going on. You will want 110% to pay attention to these. We use them all the time and they're there. They're featured because they need to be featured because they're important. Okay. Just drop the word importance. If you feel what I'm saying. Important announcements also are sent to your app, but we also put them in the Facebook group. So if you go to the Facebook group and you turn on notifications You'll be able to be in the know in proximity right away as soon as something happens. Plus, if you have your app turned on with notifications, you'll get it there too. But Squeaky Wheel gets the grease. We have it multiple places so that you can be in proximity way more than the average person. Do you want to be in conformity? You want to conform to just what the masses are doing or do you want to go be extraordinary? You got to decide by being in proximity on purpose, okay? And then the Q&A pinned announcement as we see here, okay? Right here for the pinned announcement, Q&A post. Right now, currently, it's at the very right. But if you were to click this post and you were to tag me or Daniel or your sponsor, prefer preferably, hey, I've got this question. I tried this, this, this. I'm still confused on that. Then we're here to answer any question that you have. This is after you've exercised whatever resources you can so that you can be in full power for who you are and what you're attaining. Now, the reason I say that is because if you say, oh, the domain, blah, whatever the question, I can almost guarantee you whatever question you have in the domain section, just as the example, is answered inside of the video. It's just a matter of you paying attention, okay? Now, the TFT app, you guys know that it's for leads in real time. It's for training on the go, so you don't have to have a desktop or an iPad or whatever. If you prefer that, awesome. But you do not have to have another device. You could literally run it from your phone. That in and of itself is a big reason people get involved because they don't want to purchase the other extra this and that. They want to be able to earn and learn on the go. So include that in your short form videos, okay? And then the importance of the app is, again, as we said, notified for important trainings and announcements. When we go live, when we have this going on, when there's something happening, when someone does something that we want to shout out, whatever it is, we want you in the know for that. Is that fair? Drop the word fair. Now the webinar is twice a week. We literally started doing this full speed recently over the last month. And the reason we're doing that is because they're the most effective. As I said at the beginning, it's about the innovation. It's about you being along for the ride to continue improving yourself and not remaining stagnant. The reason we don't remain stagnant in a business like this is because it's always evolving. And thank heavens, because if you don't evolve, you're going to go backward. You're going to disintegrate. And instead, we want you to create. Create, my favorite word, bring into existence. Ask yourself right now, what are you creating? What are you willing to bring into existence this week that you didn't have last week? What amount of production are you willing to create this week based on your priorities? 
you can answer that. You know what I'm saying? We have the webinars twice a week as we discussed a couple weeks ago on Teachable Tuesday. You've got the detail here. Now the Monday night call, the Monday night call for you to, for you to be there. Yes, we want you there. We want your cute face being there. Yes. And we want your leads there. We want to be able to help you close sales in real time, generating you commissions between $20 to $400 per. And we can only do that if you're doing short form video content, if you're following the DM formula, if you're actually having people go to your funnel for the replay of these timely webinars, okay? Every single Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, I'm your host in your TFT training under the Fast Start Guide section. It's this guy right here, okay? Every single Monday night will be a new video with an expiration date, with a value stack, with all the detail that one needs to get involved with the business much like you did. We're replicating what works. We're replicating how you got here too, right? Because it's working. We want you there, sure, but we want your leads there, okay? We want your leads there so we can do the heavy lifting for you. My flow is a personal touch of sharing screen at random where Daniel's on Thursday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern, it's the black and white webinar funnel, okay? This guy down here, every single Thursday morning by about what, noon Eastern, will be updated with a timely webinar with an expiration, a new value stack, all the things that you need for your lead to make an informed decision and have clarity and confidence. Daniel's flow is PowerPoint form. It's in a PowerPoint it shows it visually on screen the entire time. It's the panelist form. It's not people sharing their video and you can see them sitting at their desk like mine is. Wherever your lead is, however they're responding, send them to one or the other, either to attend live, to have you follow up live with them after, or to catch the replay because it's always timely every single week. Does that make sense, guys? Let me know. Now this one down here, under your fast start guide, again, under the section of setting up your domains, the all-in-one funnel is awesome. It is. However, it is quicker. It is shorter. It does not have a timely expiration for something like expiring Mother's Day. So it's not as personal touch in what's working. Yes, you can use this. Yes, you can have a funnel and a domain directly to this. But if you're going to use what works, I'd encourage selecting based on your lead the host here, okay, Monday night or Thursday morning based on your lead because that includes the cost explanation. It includes the value stack. It includes everything a person needs to know to make a better informed decision. Does that make sense? Let me know. Now the back office section of your training, which we are adding to here in the near future, the back office section right here, Shows you how to use the GFU membership. It shows you how to actually use what you purchased. So yes, everything we've talked about up to this point is all about making money. It's all about business. It's all about impacting other people, having an at-home business available to them and to you, right? And now we want you to be able to use the membership. Don't just purchase willy-nilly and then sit there. Be using the membership of travel savings, health, and wealth education, okay? That's the back office training that we're adding to here shortly as well. So you guys have more meat and potatoes to it, okay? Any questions that I can answer for you now that I have not gone over in the basics of what to expect, how you got here, why it matters, each piece and how it forms together. Drop them now. Please don't take yourself off mute because it messes up the replay sometimes. If you can, if you can ask a question about anything we've talked about to this point, please do so now. Did the audio get lower? I mean, not that I know of. <laughs> Should I talk louder? <laughs> nope, audio's good here. Audio's good. Fine for you. Okay, cool. Um, any questions I can answer for you guys now? Please let me know. And if not, then we'll move on to this next section, which is a little bit of depth again into the webinars. Okay but I'm not going to go over it in detail the way that I did two or three weeks ago. It's more for your reference in maximizing the webinars. Okay. 
But if you don't have any questions, then I'm just going to say, okay, awesome. <laughs> I'm glad all is clear and makes sense for you guys. I know you guys had questions about the domain. You had questions about, you know, the funnel and, and those kind of things. Hopefully that was a little bit more clear for you. Um, Ray Hoover says, do you have to update your forwarding domain if you switch funnels? Yes. Yep, you would have to forward the domain to the new domain because they're different, right? So great question, Ray. Let me go back here and show you. Let's say you have a lead who wants the live training from last night. Not only is this updated with a very specific expiration, but you'd want to use this link. Let's say you have workwithray.com, but previously you had this link. These two, they're two different links. If you want your lead to hop on a webinar, it has to be this link with your affiliate ID at the end. So yes, you would have to switch your domain, whatever it is, workwithray.com to the appropriate link for where you want them to land. And then yes, as always, we are emailing your leads. When they hit that capture page, we're emailing them for you with your custom link. So you don't have to worry about that side. We will email them for you at no extra cost, no extra concern of yours till they enroll, unsubscribe or die. Okay, we will be there in the trenches with you for all the technical side, no matter what. Make sense? Let me know. On that note, too, like it, a lot of people do this, guys, and this is probably the easier solution instead of swapping out your domains. Uh, maybe just think about having two domains. I mean, some of us that have been around for a while have dozens of domains and not that you guys need that. But, um, you know, having two domains, one could go to the. Thursday morning funnel. The other one can go to the Monday evening funnel. That way there's no switching. It's always the same link. It never changes. And you don't yeah. have to worry about switching it around, especially if you're going to be, you know, trying to promote both funnels throughout the week, instead of worrying about do that switch. Like if you ever go and do a copy and paste, or you miss something by a letter, or something didn't work right, you know, another 12 bucks, you know, you can have two domains instead of one. Yeah, exactly. And if not, and you don't want to do a domain, you can just switch, switch it out. Just make sure you copy and paste the right thing. You walk through the training applicably. That way it's hooked correctly. Now, to make sure it's hooked correctly, you can always walk through your own domain. You could literally go to your own domain, workwithray.com, walk through it like you're your, your lead, put in your information, look at the video, see what it is, click the button to enroll and make sure that it's hooked correctly. You can always do that as well. Now, going back, let me just make sure I didn't miss any questions. Let's see. Jinkle says, so under the TFT funnel under lead, there is only Monday and there is there for Thursday. Yep. If you scroll down under the purple funnel, there's a black and white funnel, which is Daniel's from Thursday morning. Um, Let's see. Cheryl says, how soon do you follow up with leads that drop into your funnel right away? <laughs> I don't wait. If your schedule doesn't allow you to do it right in the moment, you get notified billybob at gmail.com. You're not able to text him right then. You're driving, you're on lunch, you're at work. Follow up with them as soon as you can, but please follow the formula for what to say. Do not be like, hey, it's Cheryl and I got your stuff and I'll talk to you later. I wouldn't respond to that. Make sure that you're following the formula, which is taught inside the formula training. Okay. Let's see any other questions that I missed drop them now. If not, I will move on to the next section, which is kind of an overview of what we talked about two, three weeks ago, but I put it in one document. So you have orientation and then you have this right here as well in one space because the webinars are the common denominator for your success right now. Okay. Um, Christopher Dingle, you just asked just to me because you guys probably can't see it. But Chris says, how often can I check for replay videos all the time? For the training that we give, it's instantly uploaded to our YouTube channel, mindsetmondayreplays.com, teachabletuesdayreplays.com, focusfridayreplays.com for those trainings. And then for the replays for your leads, it's uploaded within an hour or so after it's done. So Monday night calls for us closing sales for you and your leads. That happens Monday, what, at like, let me think by 10, 10 30 Eastern Monday night, that video will be swapped out. So if you have your domain already going to the Monday funnel, you could be promoting that replay as soon as Monday night, as soon as Tuesday morning, it's already swapped for you. There's nothing for you to do on that end because the video, we just do the update for you. Okay. And same with Thursday for the Thursday funnel as well. Nicole says, if you copy the funnel, 
from the app, then paste it in text or message. Doesn't that work? It does, but it's long as heck and no one cares. No one's going to click on something that says TFT, blah, 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 Q7P, hashtag Nicole. People are going to think that's spam. So please hook it to a funnel. Please hook it to a domain from GoDaddy. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's a big, long, ugly link. So yeah. you want to, just like Kiersey said earlier, you want to share something that's, you know, sh short if possible, memorable, you know, easy to spell out. That's why we use domain names. Yep. And you don't, you don't want it to be, I mean, imagine putting a long rinky dink link in your bio. First, it won't fit in the character count. And second, no one's going to type that in if it's not clickable. You have to have something that's easily readable, spelled and remembered. That way, if they were to get off the platform, not just click and go, it's startwithmenow.com. That's easy to spell. It's easy to remember. It's easily readable, right? Pick a domain. That's those three things and you'll be great. You'll be perfectly, perfectly fine. All right. Let me see. Going back here real fast. And this document, I'm going to share in the chat here in just a moment, okay? Maximizing the webinar and its replays. I'm not going to go over this tonight. I actually want you guys to have this link. For those on the replay, it's underneath this video. It's titled Doc. It's a link that you can click and, and go to. You can print this out. You can copy and paste it into a Word document. You can take note about it. You guys have access to this doc. I'm actually going to share this with you now, okay? Let me put this in the chat real fast for you. Let me see. Right there. Okay. And for those on the replay, again, it's underneath this video inside the description for your reference. Now, we taught on this maybe two, three weeks ago. I did add a few different tips here at the top that I will quickly go over that we've already kind of said. You're attaching your domain, easily readable, spelled, remembered. Send them to your funnel that best suits them. So if a lead is more in the approach of they want it visual, they want it in a PowerPoint type of form, they would vibe with Daniel's presentation more, use that funnel. If they want my funnel, do that funnel. Just know that there's an expiration, that it's very timely, it's very good. Cater it toward your lead, okay? When sending it to people, please type it out so it's easily what, readable, remembered, and spelled. See how the capital letter is at the beginning of each word? <laughs> Do that. It's helpful for people, okay? Don't comment back with the registration link or the replay. If you want to on a short form video, you certainly can. But for those getting registered for a live training, please, please, please pull it into a direct message in a text and an email, something that's one-to-one. -one. There is no way for Zoom to record. Oh, Marcelino sent Billy Bob. Oh, David sent Helga. Nope. You have to keep track of your own leads when it comes to the webinars. Does that make sense? Let me know. Now in a short form video for the replay, because the replay collects their name, their email, their phone number, you'd get notified to your app in real time about that. You can comment the replay link, replaywithdavid.com, whatever. You can comment that link however, whenever you want. Just make sure to follow the formulas within your short form video training for that, okay? because it's effective or, you know, go be spammy Kathy. I guess that's fine too. <laughs> uh, and then here's where I'm not going to go over the detail. Um, I just took it from the couple weeks ago. This is why I want you to print it out. Now, when you print it out, this is obviously clickable. You're not going to be able to click a piece of paper. So have this as a reference. I'm going to, I'll drop it in the chat here again in just a moment. Okay. Have it here as a reference for you guys, but please go clone what works. When you click this yellow video or when you click this link there at the bottom of this document, you have speaking, non-speaking, faceless and faceless or faceless and with your face. You have engagement posts to do on Facebook and your stories, whatever else. Please actually use what works. Don't try throwing mud at the wall to see if it sticks. Actually make something stick by following the formulas. Okay. Now I'm going to share this link one more time so you guys have it. Again, for those on the replay, it is inside the description right underneath this video. So be sure to reference that. Now let me scroll up, make sure I didn't miss any questions here. Let's see. Leslie says, so for each link, we need a separate domain if we choose to do that, correct? Yes, you would. Yep. 
Um, to be blunt with you, though, I would maybe consider two domains, one to Daniel's funnel with the replay on Thursday and one to my funnel with the replay for Monday. To register, it's always Monday mondayeveningcall.com. You don't have to have a domain for that. That's just the Zoom link that you can give your leads. Billy Bob, Helga, Henry, whoever. And then Thursday is Thursday morning call. You don't have to have a link for that because it's the same Zoom link no matter what. We've already attached that funnel. Well, not funnel. We've attached that domain already to that website address. Does that make sense? Let me know. Um, but I wouldn't worry if if I'm being blunt with you, I wouldn't focus on the all-in-one funnel right now. I'd focus on doing the replay and having it be from Monday or Thursday to domains if you want to. And then she says, so we would need three domains, right? To promote the original and the two webinars. That's correct. But don't worry about the all-in-one funnel right now, unless you absolutely feel you need to. Because the webinars are the ones that are converting the best right now. The biggest difference, and I'll just, I'll kind of end with this, just so you guys have the clarity a little bit. The all-in-one funnel converts like hotcakes, yes. And it also attracts people who only start at the starter level. So if you want to have $20 commissions, because the all-in-one funnel does not go into the value stack, it does not have a timely expiration like Mother's Day, something that's like remembered and significant for someone. And there's no explanation between this level has this, this level has this, this level has this. They're going to go to the enrollment. They're going to realize they need to pay and they're going to choose 130 because they don't know why they'd go higher, right? Just my personal opinion and what I've seen. The webinars, especially because they're timely, they're launched every single week. It's a different vibe, female and male, PowerPoint, personal, whatever, totally different things. You're going to attract a different audience. So be sure to cater it toward the lead you're talking to. Does that make sense? Now, how you're going to get leads on that webinar is on teachabletuesdayreplays.com. It's also in the document that I just showed you guys, but I'm not going to go over tonight because you guys already have that information in the document and from the couple weeks ago when we taught it. Does that make sense? Let me know. Any other thoughts, questions, let me know. Drop them now and make sure to just comment them. Don't take yourself off mute, please. Here's go so ahead, I got, I got an interesting thing that I've been doing lately and, you know, and this is based on data. It's not based on my opinion. It's based on data. Um, you know, typically your funnel will in your webinar on Monday resonates more with females. My webinar on Thursday resonates a lot of times, again, based on the data that I've seen, uh, resonates a little more with men. I'm a dude, you're not. So, you know, it just kind of makes sense sharing that. So during the week, what I've been doing leading up to Sundays, when I have people that are commenting on my posts, people that are direct messaging me, whenever, when I go to share a replay replay link, the people that are asking for it and commenting, when if it's a male, I share the Thursday webinar. If it's a female, I share the Monday webinar. So, and that seems to be working pretty well. Yep. And it really, I mean, that that's a good way to, to decide it. It also could be that the person you're talking to needs more of the PowerPoint and they're a girl, right? Mm -hmm. It just depends what they've set up to that point. If they're a very logical thinker, if they're a very like structured and, and I don't know the word lecture type of person, <laughs> that sounds so bad, but I don't know another word for it. Um, if they're a very logical thinker, then the Thursday call would be more selective for them. If they're, you know, shoot, last Monday I said crap and made everyone comment crap. If they're more of like the funny personal, then yeah, come to mine, have them come to mine because it is that type of form. Now, these people can come to both. They might hear a phrase or something that said, although it's the same type of thing, but they resonate differently on one day compared to the next. So don't count yourself out. Maybe yes, have two domains so you can decide this one makes more sense. Maybe they'd like this one, whatever it is. Use your best discretion and also cater it toward them based on what you using the DM formula. Okay. All right. Well, that is all we've got for tonight. Make sure to use the document. I'll drop it in the chat one more time. So you guys have it handy, print it out, copy and paste it into a word doc. However you want to do it, use it, use it, use it, use it. And then at the very end, you're wanting to know what to post and what content to create and how do I get people on this webinar and yada, yada, yada. No more worry about that. No more confusion, no more complication. 
use what works by cloning and mimicking the content that's already there inside of that folder. Yellow button, very end of that doc. You can't miss it. All right. Yeah. All right. We will see you guys inside the Facebook group here in just a moment. Feel free to collaborate inside of the Teachable Tuesday thread in the pinned announcements. If you want to say what you learned tonight, we'd love to hear from you. And then use that document to your discretion. Please actually use it. Use it, get use it, use it. Thursday. And get ready for Thursday. Get people there. Get your leads there so Daniel can help do the closings for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. We will talk to you guys soon. Catch this replay later on at teachabletuesdayreplays.com. Here within the next hour, it'll be uploaded. And we'll see you inside the group here shortly. Thanks for popping on, guys. Bye now.